Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah. G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve here with another video. Today I want to show you, I guess, the next stage of the um, tutorial process for making a text display. Um, previously, I showed you how to make memory. Those who have watched my previous tutorial will understand what this is. Now, this is a, uh, another simplified, simplified version. Um, I can leave this file for download. Um, unlike the other one, I made this in a new world so that it wouldn't um, tamper with anything else. Um, I've made a very basic example. So here we've got, for example, here go, this goes off to the display and these go off to memory if you were going to have like a memory system and store the letters that you want. Um, the hard-coded character bit goes further back and up and whatever. I'll leave a link to that um, video so you know what I'm talking about there. So essentially what I'm going to show you here is how the different types of display. Like there are other ones you can use as well. But these are probably the three major ones, the three best working ones, anyway. Um, and for those of you wondering where, um, how come you can't do this, or just you know, whatever, you can't. It doesn't work very easily. It's very difficult to um, hooking it up. You will be able to connect to every second one, but um, it just yeah, it just doesn't work. So you have to use repeaters. You can use torches like that. Um, on each row instead of repeaters, but they're more prone to bug. So, yeah. Anyway, my favourite is the piston one, um, for obvious reasons, because pistons are awesome. <laughs> um, hang on, let me get rid of that uh, rain. So, the coolest thing about pistons is obviously when the letters come through, it will um, extrude. I mean, it will um, embed. So, I like it embedding rather than extruding. You can do either one, but I prefer it that way. So, we can, like, I've made an S, and you can see the S will travel along there. Now, each, every two, two by two pixels, uh, two by two pistons is a pixel, and I've done the same for those as well. Um, the one on the back there is a bit more prone to be buggy than the rest of it, but oh well. The next display here is just repeaters. Now, it's very simple, there's no back redstoning like these ones. Um, these, both this one and the back one have the exact same back redstoning, which I'll explain soon. Um, this one just has repeaters in a line at four ticks, so it's the easiest to make, and it doesn't look too bad either. So we've got, um, this is the one I use in my, um, redstone project on the server I'm on. So you, it's, I probably could have shaped it a little better, but, oh well. Um, so, once again, I could have done individual lines as a... A thing, but I wanted to make them like pixel size. Same with those. You can though um, get rid of those, like the second line, and just have five rows. And in which case, you could display text um, the same way, but and thinner. But you know, I'm just keeping with the whole same pistol, <laughs> pistol, pis, uh, pixel. I got it eventually. <laughs> um, proportions. So this is the last one. This one's more prone to bug. I've um, especially when there's more redstone around it. It looks cool, like you can't go past the look. It, but the problem is, I get far away, and um, it'll start bugging. And especially when there's loads of text, it will like overlap and things like that. You can see like it squishes and whatever. And that's because of the uh, the res the redstone update and things like that. The redstoning is fine. So. Now I'm going to show you the redstoning <coughs> behind these displays. It's very simple redstoning, and you can actually loop it as well. So, like, for example, I just looped that now, so, like, I could do the same thing on all of them, but that there will keep going around. So, it's very customizable <coughs> and um, easier to play with. So, yeah, let's, um, let me explain how it works now. Oh, to say with that, I put that there for demonstration purposes. So, this is my own design again. I'll, I um I came up with this while I was coming up with my um my massive redstone production thing that I'm working on. I haven't done much on it on the server, but I've been theorizing and things like that, and um playing with different concepts. Um, and this is <coughs> the ins and outs of how this works. So you've got a four a four tick pulse. It doesn't need to be four ticks, but it's just uh, a continuation of what's going to happen up here, so 
It's, I don't know, it's what I do. Um, so the first two, you've got obviously your first pixel, which requires four ticks. You've got this, these two torches, <coughs> which light up this, um, these four. These four pistons here are lit up by these two torches. So, um, yeah. And then the next one, there's four tick delay for the next pulse. Now, I have also a pulse limiter uh, underground, which limits the button pulse um, to four ticks. So that's why I've only got four tick delays on here. Um, my normal system, which I use, um, which I'm going to use, uses eight ticks. But I, you can, it just shows you can customize it as you need. But for for my memory, for memory's sake, um, for the ease of making memory, I made it eight ticks, which I can customize here later. But for now, this is four ticks. Um, besides mine, I'm using this, so it doesn't really matter so much. Um, actually, also, um, if you put a pulse limiter between the memory and display and here, you can still make that four ticks. But anyway, that, that's that's beside the point. But just in case you were going to do that, like so, even if I had a nine tick pulse coming through or eight tick or whatever, it didn't doesn't really matter. I can um, probably the easiest way to do it have it start off extended and this is a, a very simple pulse limiter so it comes through and I'll probably put this actually on the other side it powers that block and then four ticks later that block, that recedes so it makes sure it's only four ticks so that's that's a cool little um, pulse limiter design um, and so that way your memory, because my memory is going to be 8 tick, uh, my memory requires 8 ticks and you'll see, if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link for that that's going to be in the annotations and description um, so you can understand what I'm talking about by the 8 ticks and, and my memory and so forth but um, <coughs> anyway, moving on so for each bay here, each individual pixel is 4 ticks later than the next so that's um, 4, 8 and then there's another 2, 4 tick delays there so um, the next pixels here will be 8 ticks greater than that one or 4 ticks greater than that one So and it goes on the same notation all the way down so it's just two, uh, 2 of those and then 2 of those or 2 lots of those and then it just goes on um, all the way for each layer as well so each individual layer is the same now I've got a little utility channel here, not only to stop me from placing redstone that will um, short the circuit, but also so I can come through and, and check it all and whatever. Now the, the last one is exactly the same, except it's inverted. Now the reason it's inverted is because these staying on requires um, a lot more... Uh, it's a lot more buggy when these are on as opposed to off. So I prefer to do it that way, but I've also made this longer just because I was. I want to see, um, show you the the buggy distance sort of thing. Also, because when you're not looking at it, is when it bugs. If you're not looking at it, it will bug and so forth. But it's usually it's it's not too bad really. So yeah, those are the different displays. Um, oh, what else have I got to cover? I think that's it. Also, yeah, oh, wait, wait, one more, a very important thing. These pistons, all of them, go to torches. Same on the first one and on this one. They go to torches. This one, the only difference is between this one and this one is there's blocks in this layer. In On that one, it's, there's only torches in this layer. I'll show you. So, like, the exact same... I actually copied and pasted the design to save me time. Um, so, I've just got these. On the first one, I've just got blocks above them. And they go all the way. So, each it goes like that all the way through. And that's the only difference. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's all I wanted to show you. If you do have any questions, send me a message, and I'll be uh, I'll be sure to answer your questions. Um, I think I'm pretty good at answering questions. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is like like I said, this is my own design, and I hope you can find it useful. And I hope you can find um, the memory section useful as well. So this is, oh, that's it from me. Um, also, oh, one more thing. Um, you, When you have your memory bus, for example, coming through from wherever your memory is, and um, when you play back from memory, assuming you've done stored text as opposed to just static text like I've got, you can do static text messages like this, um, where you just have 
um, letters already pre-coded in and then just press a button and they all display. Um, but if you want it customizable, then yeah, I've got that other tutorial. But yeah, I, I lost my chain of thought. <laughs> anyway, the S is for Stevo though, in case you were wondering. Um, and that's me. I'm Stevo, and I will look, see how. Look at that buggy. Pistons don't bug. That's why I love them. Um, anyway, I'm Stevo, and I will catch you next time. All right, catch you later.